hello guys so today in this video i am going to demonstrate demonstrate you about how we can create a new table with primary key using entity framework core so i am continuing the uh, the same series and this is the next part of the series to create web api using entity framework core in dotnet core 3.1 version so let's first create a model for model so for to create a model currently uh, we had add, added a new class library so here inside the model i will create a new folder first so let me create a folder so i am giving it name like db model and inside hit i will put all the models which i will use to create any table in the database so here i need to add a class so i am going to add a profile table in our database so i have let me copy i have i have created written the code to so that it should not take more time so let me click on add button now so here you can see now it's created a class and so let me replace the code which i have already written so you can see here so here i have added and to create a new table in the database it it needs to have a primary key otherwise we have to like assign one like assign one value to so first let me install this package system dot model dot annotations because it is just i just click on to add this just here you can see just click on this small arrow and from here just choose this option install package system dot component dot model dot annotations because key is the part like key is residing inside the component model dot annotations library so first let me click here find and install latest version so now it will automatically install the version okay now also it, you can see here it also added the library here so now you can see it's gone like error is gone now so now what i need to uh, and first like during creating the class new class don't forget to mark all these properties as public because if we will not do that then it will not create like because it will not uh, have access to create any columns in our database with that name okay so we must need to add a key to create a foreign key so what it like entity framework will do it will uh, it will consider this id property as a column and it this column will be assigned as a primary key attribute automatically by the entity framework so as we have created the model now so now i need to do some changes in the db context to add the changes in db context let me go to the db context which is inside this web application api model sorry project and here we need to do the changes so let me so here we can so i have written the code basically and we need to add here the db set let me copy this and paste so here also i need to add the reference so just put the mouse over that and again click this and choose this using class library because it's it will automatically add my library here you can see this is the added library the name is space okay so you can see now it's done basically and now what we need to do again we need to open the package manager console so let's 
navigate to negat package manager then package manager console and now when i clicked and on package manager console then it will initialize the package manager console and open it and right here don't forget to note like make sure that here the project should be selected the correct one right here as we have created the db con we need to create a db context in web application api projects therefore it must be the web application api project selected at here okay so now let's let me add the migration so let me add the command add migration so when i will add this migration then it will ask a name so as this is the second migration so let me put it a name second migration okay and now let me hit enter so you can see it is building the project and after successful build it will it will process all these things and you can see here it created the migration with this name here you can see the second migration is created now and here the table is mentioned here which i am going to change or which we need to change right so here it's also adding the identity one one it is auto increment basically and uh, it is considered a, a int table type which we have we had provided in the profile model so basically it will this model will create the table and it will have all these properties and right here you can see this is table dot primary key and it will be this name will be assigned to that primary key and it is considering as this id this id as a primary key so now let's apply the changes to the database to do that we just need to add run one more command update database okay now let me hit the enter and you can see now the build is started and build succeeded and now it will apply the changes in the database so it's done and now let's have a look at the database so you can see here we are having we do not have actually the profile table here in the table list so let me refresh this so it is expanding the table list again so just do it for a while okay so you can see now in the profile table is in the list now and it is having all those columns which we had created or defined in the model and with the id as a primary key okay so this attribute is having the primary key and right here it is identity and it will it is also auto increment by one by one by one and the start value is one okay so all these things is applied and here we can also check in the key this is the key name pk underscore profile so you got the idea right how we can move forward with the entity framework core back to create a new table with the with the primary key constraint okay so thank you guys thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel